I fucking put way too much milk in my... I put way too much cereal in one bowl. I just had a big bowl of cereal before we got here, and my stomach hurts. too hot to eat but you yeah. keep eating anyway because you already committed to it you're like, Whatever. what's going on everybody welcome to the f word podcast sorry to cut you off oh, we we're talking about politics yes the best podcast you'll never know a part of the saskatchewan podcast network which is sponsored by connexus credit union hashtag money talk connexus money talk dot c a we're back now you can continue yeah. sorry like nick it was so one weird of those, it was one of those things where it was just like uh, you know, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it, and all of a sudden, it's like, no, just, my mind just said, "Go fucking." Should right have just pulled an Ari. Shut the fuck up, Lloyd. <laughs> no, that would be mean. Not like I have. Fuck! I watched that mean. clip again today. It's so funny. <laughs> Which one? When he was talking about? I posted on my and so on. Like when he's Eric's in the, in the mountain. Office. He's in the mountain. Oh, yeah. and he's like, "What did you say?" And Lloyd's like, "Did you get the script yet?" And the Ari's Wall like, script. Yeah. "Ari's like, shut the fuck up, Lloyd." No, no, no it's actually even funnier than that. It's. The way he does it because he's in the back. Mm-hmm. He's in the background. He's oh, like, yeah. shut the fuck up, Lloyd. And it's so, it's so good. Because he didn't even focus. I feel like that was just something he improvised because it oh, wasn't. Sure he did. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I would have yeah. loved to play that character. Like, it would be such a fun thing. Just yell yeah, at people. But we're very happy, Jeremy Piven did this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did a <laughs> Yeah, nothing wrong with, you know, what you. With my acting ability? To yeah. pull off. I'll be in the Entourage re- reboot in like 20 years. You think so? I hope so. That'd be awesome. You know what you'll probably you know do? You know fun that would be on set? You know what's probably going to happen? There's going to be a C version of Stranger Things, like from another country, mm. and they're going to hire you to play the Finn character. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. They'll be like, hey, we've booked you a job. It's in Serbia. <laughs> it's the Stranger <laughs> Things, not really a reboot, and they're pretty much just finding anybody that looks like the original cast. If you were 15 years younger, mm-hmm. they would cast you as Dustin. Sure. 15? And how old are you? <laughs> I said 15. Yeah. Yeah. So he'd be, how old is Dustin? Well, I don't know. Like, I'd say like 12. Yeah. So he's almost 30. Really? So then he'd be You're 15 not years old. Not yet. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't fuck. You're turning 30, what, May 6th mm-hmm. this year? Not because like, of age. Sorry, not because of appearance. I just assumed that you were like older. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's okay. So the beard does add years. It I does add know. years, hey? I shave my beard from November. I want here. you to guys give me one second. I just got to switch the mics. <sighs> I shaved my beard. going on already. Yeah, starts. you gotta be careful with that neck beard. It's gonna fucking grow on my face. What are these? When do you approve your You know, if you have the if you have the same genes that your that Nick has, which by the way, happy birthday to our comrade Nick. Also a big happy comrade birthday Nick. to Mac. Mac in Calgary, Mackenzie. Happy Mac birthday, Daddy. dude. <laughs> There's something else on November first, I don't remember. Um anyways, if you have Nick's facial hair, you could probably try to Paul Bunyan it if you want. Can Nick grow but in about hair? 20 years, you'll still have the same facial hair you have today, which is nothing. Yeah. yeah. Nick cannot grow facial hair. Yeah. Screw it. Yeah. I hope I do not share. Mine things. grows oddly, but it's getting better. And then yours has always been pretty good. Tino's grows like immediately after. I don't shaves. know, man. I, I couldn't grow like underneath the chin in the middle. So forever, I actually just leaned into it and shaved it. And mm-hmm. I thought those, that's my grad photo mm-hmm. is part much mutton chops, but like lowered, not high mutton chops, but low. And just mm-hmm. the part in the middle, it, no stash. You look like my GTA Online character. There you go. I, I look him... back at it, I'm like, man, that was so bad. <laughs> so I was telling you how I watched Dennis the Menace, the original. Yeah. So funny. It's still so cute. But so I forgot that Christopher Lloyd, I for, I didn't know who Christopher Lloyd was back then. Mm. But he plays Doc in the Back to the Future movies. And he's okay, done a lot of other go. stuff. I was like, who the fuck is Christopher so Lloyd? So he plays familiar. the villain in that and he's, they got to get him oh, prosthetic yeah, yeah, nose yeah. and shitty teeth and everything. But he's so fucking creepy in that. Very much and so. like the music oh, yeah. that happens, dun, 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 Oh yeah, dun, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like walking through, chain smoking, steals the apple from a little kid. Mm-hmm. Apple. But it was, re- it was a really funny performance and I totally forgot about it. But anyways, that's, that's very that's, true. Yeah, it was it was good. Good old blast. What's something I found funny? Scarlett Johansson was in Home Alone three. True yeah, story. She was. She was a sister. She was a sister. You yeah. know what? Oh, also Buzz from Home Alone. Yeah. Was okay. So two things: the girl from Russian Doll. Yes. Um, 
and Orange is the New Black and yeah, the yeah, American yeah. Pie. She was the babysitter. And then Buzz was the boyfriend that was reading to Dennis in the tub. Oh, shit. And they were oh, yeah, out. okay. I remember Buzz. I don't yeah. remember the chick, though. I totally forgot about yeah. Buzz. But actually, I kind of liked Home Alone 3, to be honest. It wasn't at the time, because I remember we watched the shit out of it. Yeah, because we, we were young. Younger. We didn't know any better. And it was Watching just it. It was geared towards now, us. Now, though, like... I can only watch the first two, but I still don't mind the third. The fact that they made a fourth and a fifth, that's the problem. No, I, I think the third is the gray area one where it's not good, but it's not like awful. But the fourth yeah. and fifth are just straight up garbage. Well, and it's such a different premise. Like he's not, he is home alone, but he's not really like no one left the city or the country. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. Home oh, I'm sorry. Five, they I never went fucking the hate city. Like it's such a stupid premise. There's an old man on Xbox Live that hacks the guy's like computer and finds out, oh this guy's getting like in trouble some people are and he travels across the country meets the mom tells the mom hey i tracked your son's shit i'm going to help him and she's like oh okay that sounds normal really yeah Yikes. like i've seen a couple i don't know if that's like a word for word but like yeah yeah i remember this like loosely that's what happened and it was just like it was close enough for yeah. it to make a difference or wow. to make an impact on you so interesting do you see that email that the guy sent that just reaching out email i believe so some guy named joe something and he's like if if you do hold on what did he say Came across your YouTube channel and was wondering if you ever do product reviews. Buddy, we haven't done a video on our channel for a long time. Mm. Um, we'd love to have you in our network doing commissioned videos and product reviews. We had something similar to that like a year ago. Yeah, Nothing came about it. If you've made the trend, this is the funny part. If you've made the transition from creative to creative influencer, or if you haven't yet are in, and are interested in doing so, it will cost you nothing as an influencer, and we'd be very happy to have you in the family. Right there, fuck you. That's no a thanks. pyramid scheme. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have a business card that says influencer. I don't want to have anything on there that says influencer. I don't influence shit, and I'm not going to start to pretend to. I'm like Bob Dylan when he's 21. Bob Dylan. Who? No, Bob Dylan. He's one of like <laughs> he's an amazing folk artist. And then they were trying to push like the fame on him and tell uh-huh. him, hey, this is how it is. And he's like, I don't know where you guys are on. And then he shows up a year later to this festival that he dropped the house down with an electric guitar, which was totally against his style. Mm. And everyone turned on him. It was something I learned from uh, Rogan had. So Robin Daggers. He Robin Daggers. What's Robin Daggers? Daggers. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, but the thing is, she actually leaned into the Robin Sparkles yeah, okay. until she broke. Bob Dylan never broke. Mm. This was uh, Edward Norton was talking about this on uh, on Rogan. It was very good. Yeah, it was really interesting. But um, yeah, I forget where I was going with that. Don't oh, know. but anyways, yeah. The second they said, "Are you a creative or an influencer?" I don't even think we're creative. No, I Honestly, mm. I don't think so. Things. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider us even if we did do it. We wouldn't be going from creative to influencer. We'd just be going. I from think our an uh, asshole to episode a titles is the most creative. Yeah. No. Yeah, that is the that is the most creative. Like. I don't think so we most, are creative. It's the most creative well, the we need to be. Itself isn't. Yeah. The video and like the like that's covers tough. you do for the thing. Like that's sometimes. Like, yeah. That's it. Like really. Yeah, but really, it's not. I mean, it is creative, but it's not because no, it's, it's not, not like, hard. Like when I think creative, I think somebody that can make a song or can play an instrument in front of a group of people like pr- by themselves proficiently. Like he doesn't need he doesn't even need anybody else. Like some of the guys I get to play in the band with, I can't play without them. Yeah, but they can all play without me hmm. and so i'm just like one of those guys that's like keep my mouth shut glad to be on the ride mm-hmm. but they're all super talented those guys are creative because they fucking make music and produce and shit dope um did you guys do anything for halloween no studied you studied <laughs> yeah you didn't do fuck all we had like my mom said 30 kids maybe like in total i like we had like six doorbell rings we had 80 you had 80 yeah. ethan Down. had 100 Oh, he's well, I know, but he had like 160 last year. Jay and Linda oh, had four over 400. They said, "Yeah, I saw that actually. That's wild. That's Harbor Landing. Yeah, Harbor yeah, Landing. That's is that, that, that neighborhood. I mean, you, you literally go a block and you've hit 100 houses easily. Mm-hmm. It's just so compressed over there. So, and each of those 100 houses has probably one or two kids. There you go. Those are your numbers. They jump up. Sure. If all those houses just yeah. all the kids just walked out the door, went across to each one. Yeah. And like the actually, I'm did. pretty sure the average is like five or six kids per home, but that's a totally different situation. Five yeah, or six, some of them. Trust yeah. me, some of the houses Trust in me, there. Yeah. Like when I was showing houses in there, sardines, five or man. six kids, man. It's sardines. In it's there. crazy. Yeah, oh, it's and Harbor wild. Landing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant. I thought you meant like the average total. No, 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 no. Okay. That neighborhood for specific. a few okay. years, it was it was only five or six kids. Yeah, and yeah. which you know what, I was totally fine with because I stopped trick or treating when I I think I was like ten. 
Yeah, I'm like I'm like the gym of my Honestly, family. Honestly, I think where, like, I think I we went care. once with a group of friends when we were in grade eight. You did, yeah, yeah. I stopped when I stopped in grade seven, I think, because I got well, I got a job in grade eight. You got egged. I remember that. They egged you on the street too. We were on our bikes, Damn. but luckily it didn't like actually hit me. It hit the bike more than anything. Mm-hmm. And then I just got the splash. But yeah. Jerks. Yeah. Crazy, hey! And Jerks. that's a good that's a good trick to use. Throw the egg at the tire spoke and just. Well, I think they actually everywhere. meant to hit me, but they just missed. No, for sure. But it's still it was a drive by. Yeah. Fuck. Classic teenager shenanigans. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I hope everyone had a fun Halloween. We didn't even do any Halloween special type of thing. It was the first year. Last year we did something. Well, last year I did the deep dive with Brett. Well, we did I the think conspiracy the year... theory one, didn't we? Yeah. Last year? No, it wasn't. I think also Halloween. The new one came out too. Oh, that's true too. I wasn't here last year. It was around then. Anyways. Yeah, because you were you were all up in Halloween, mm-hmm. and then the year before that, I all remember us doing. There. Nick and I did a full Halloween special, like our very first year, but this yeah. year just kind of it, it was in between. It's mm-hmm. like the fuck? Hocus Pocus, though one of the best. Yeah, we we talked about Hocus Pocus too last go. week, so that kind of counts. Did we? Yeah, because oh. oh yeah, the reboot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the and, and talking about how that movie. I is don't know if they announced good. the next Halloween title. They said, like, I saw Halloween. a video saying Halloween Kills, and it was just, like, of Michael Myers, and they were shooting. So I think mm. it was, like, from the new movie. Yeah. But I don't know if the movie's called Halloween Kills, because it's kind of a stupid fucking name. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm excited. Halloween is a good-ass movie. I love it. You really that. liked it. I did. It was, I was surprised. It was actually a fun time. Mm. Which is weird to what? say. About a movie about a murder. I don't know. I'm seeing Zombieland 2 tonight. <sighs> finally. Did you see the zo- uh, Did you see the end credit scenes? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I know. I saw it when I was cleaning theaters, the last one. <laughs> um, I don't know. I didn't understand until someone explained it to me, like yeah. from the previous one. I'm like, oh, then I assume it comes back in the movie. Did you not see the first one? No, I did. I just oh, didn't remember. Oh, it was so okay. long. I rewatched it earlier this week. Right, right, right. Does all that right, scene right. come back though, at all in the movie? Like, is it relevant to anything in the new movie? Or is it no, just, no? Oh, okay, it's it's say. literally just for fan fan service at that point. Okay, because they called it day one, mm-hmm. right? So the That's first the outbreak. If you're a fan and you give someone a beer, is that considered fan cerveza? Sure. Uh, All right, moving okay, on. Let's just read the topic. <laughs> I need fucking. You know what I realized? I've been watching a lot of comedians. Yeah. And not, not just picking on, like, up any their skills, huh? Pardon? <laughs> not picking up any skills. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. Um, I've been watching comedians hang out with each other. Okay. Oh, and I've been watching yeah. like how they interact with each other and talk with each other and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I found out that including you guys and myself and pretty much anybody, I have no fucking funny friends at all. None. That's true, actually. All of y'all are terrible. And we're all terrible for it, I uh, think. We, I need funny. funnier friends. I'm very funny. I, you I, are I, not. I find myself extremely hilarious. Yeah. That's like, I'll the, be at work staring at a wall and I'll start laughing because I think see, of something. See, that's the problem problem with you because you think you're funny well i entertain myself all the time yeah but that doesn't mean you're actually funny but arsenio hall got a new one on netflix he's got a new new special yeah new special it's coming out of the woodworks does he attack any well probably i don't know like i haven't seen it what i just know arsenio is like a well-known guy in the in the comedy world so what i'm saying is like so there's a guy he's a he's a brilliant mathematician his name's eric weinstein okay Mm -hmm. uh weinstein actually i think yeah, why I think he says it, Weinstein. And he was invited to another com- a comedian's house. Mm-hmm. The, com- the other comedian's name is Brian Callen. And then with him, it's like Chris Alia, Will Sasso, and Bobby Lee, and a bunch of other them. And this guy, who is an intellectual, of all, like extremely intelligent person, not just in math, but in all things, he was saying, he's like, it was amazing watching them be together. They spent the whole time like roasting each other. And it was just getting better and better. And then some guys would actually set the other guy to roast to them to see how funny they can come back. And like, mm-hmm. like it was this. It was like it was the, one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Everyone had an amazing time. Everyone's still friends to this day. No one got hurt or offended or anything like that because they. It's just how they act, mm-hmm. and it just it saddens me. Not for the roasting part, but it's just like I just need new fucking friends. The problem with roasting people though is that either. People take it too far, mm-hmm. or people get offended too easily. Both things have happened. Yeah, like even at work, like shit has happened where like for three hours my last shit, my boss was roasting the fuck out of me, and I knew he was just being like joking. Mm-hmm. But there's one line, and it just like Did I was so tired. You? Yeah, like it annoyed the See, fuck there you out go. of me. But you, I didn't like I didn't be a bitch about it. I was just yeah. like silent, and I just didn't talk to him. That's the shift. So then at that point, what happened is you you realize what your threshold is. Well, I understood it was like a joke, and I, I didn't take anything to heart. I'm like whatever. He's like I knew he was joking. It's just like you know what, this guy's being annoying as fuck. And I was Again, like, 
you still hit your ceiling. Yeah. So now we know however long that thing was, that was your ceiling. That was three hours. <laughs> there you go. Three hours. That was, I fucking lasted. So, I don't think it's a duration thing. I think it's more of a content thing. Well, I, I think aside from the content, uh, it's also our individual... As individuals, no, it was a trigger. We, it triggered me. We lacked. Go. We lacked intent, or sorry, we lacked intent. The the understanding of the intent of the person. So, I've I've I've, ta- I've I've tried to break this down as much as possible, in my own mind. Most of the time, we'll say stuff to each other, and there was a movie back in the day called Running Scared, and mm-hmm. it was the one guy in there says nobody knows nobody, and it seems like nobody. Present company included, and everybody outside doesn't actually know the other person to the point where they understand their intent with the things that they say. And so, be- when you don't know the intent of it, then whatever content comes out of their mouths, you're just going to hate it or not like it or take it to a point. Mm-hmm. And so, because a lot of our relationships are very fragile, like I have a lot of fragile relationships to the point where I know exactly what to say to end the friendship there. And to the point where the other person won't try to fix it Mm -hmm. and I will go try to fix it. And I know that with both of you, I know that with almost every single person I'm with, I know what to say that could end the friendship right then and there. So you're like the Batman of friendships. You have a contingency plan. Well, it's less of a contingency plan. But it's like but just more... knowing your own limits and like. No, no, no. It's, but it's, it's more so this. Not being like the biggest asshole in the world, like mentioning someone's parents passed away and making a joke about it. That's fucked up, right? But I'm just, there are certain things that could progress with some people that I'm around. And everyone's got this relationship. Fucking whoever's listening right now. Really think about your friendships. Really think about them. And also think about your relationship and their relationship to you. Because you probably have something where the where you're hanging out with somebody and in your mind you're like, if that fucking person says this thing, I it's over, it's done, fuck them right in the fucking face. So I know that. For me, I don't actually have a lot of that, or at least I don't think, because no matter what's happened in my life, I've, I've always been the one to initiate the repairing of a relationship. Mm-hmm. Or at least I've made a point to, now even more so. But this all goes back to the fact that we don't actually we don't actually trust our friends and their intent. And therefore, if they do say something that might trigger us automatically, we are going to go after them, even though their intent was never to do that. And I understand the argument of, well, it's the way that you said it. Fine. Maybe I said it away. And that could kind of give shade to maybe the other person or give you give light into what intent's actually there but for the most part if we believe that our friends don't mean us harm we're able to just roll with it bounce back go back at them and let it go back and forth and then just have fun go home and nothing that happened does that make sense yes no for me though for the friend thing like i don't actually have like lots of friends like i I know lots of people i'm friendly with lots of people but i don't consider them friends just Mm -hmm. like that sense where it's like I don't need to have like 50,000 friends. Like, I don't care. Like mm-hmm. I just have like close ones and like people mm-hmm. I'll actually like talk to. And those people, like we will have like those times where it gets uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's always a big problem. And everybody knows this is that I speak very sarcastically. Mm-hmm. And lots mm-hmm. of times people don't or forget that and think that what I say is literal. Mm-hmm. And lots of awkward like cases have happened like that. But I agree with everything you said. That makes to- total sense. Well, and again, I'm, I'm, I could be a hypocrite for saying it because I know that I've, done that however it also is the learning of the other person's intent because i know i know just like you i know a lot of people i'm not close with a lot of people so why do i have to go in there knowing that that person's intent is good because maybe their intent isn't good we're not that close let's say what businesses are like why do they need to make everything good for me so it's more so just like from a very inner circle and then you understand that the intent out like as it goes out and out is really based on your history with the person your relationship with the person and if you found that they valued your existence not even your friendship Mm -hmm. but the fact that you exist Mm -hmm. and i think that's a big one well for me i remember like when i got triggered like at work like i'll say i don't care like my biggest trigger is when anybody would like diminish anything i've done as like a solo like feat or something i did them on my own like my Instagram page, if they were like, I wouldn't like off of that. I never really cared, but like, that's just an example. But like at work, this was a manager and I know he was joking, but he also got like, 
I had a talk with him because I was like, quote unquote, bullying somebody and I had to explain to him like, no, I was just joking. Like he didn't take any offense by it. Like, because mm-hmm. they heard over the radio, me calling him to help clean theaters. Yeah. And uh, what he said to me was, don't worry, Anthony, we'll find you something you're good at eventually. And when we do, we'll tell everybody about it. And That's I just stared funny. at him. <laughs> and I was like, because part of this, this was three hours of him bitching about how I swept, mm-hmm. how I did everything. You know, where did you work last? You know, Trifon's Pizza. Oh, that explains why you're so shitty at sweeping. And like, I'm not a great sweeper. That's a decent. Like, we have really shitty equipment. Since when is the ability of your sweeping a big deal? Yeah, that's what I know. I, I had a good comeback. I said, yep. Thank God I'm a great salesman, though. And that was it. And a customer <laughs> review, because uh, our general manager posted it on like our work app mm-hmm. or whatever. And this was a legit. I asked Jesse and Blake, the only two friends I know who filled out a review. I filled out a review. Oh, did you? I was in Vegas in front of a slot machine filling This out might your be review. you then. This might be you. Uh, better than Cineplex, Anthony Parasoni is the best worker there. Oh, I didn't put that. I just said I had a wonderful experience or something like that. But yeah, I found that so funny. Was I supposed to mention you by name? Oh, yeah. I totally didn't do That's that. I, I just that. mentioned that. Oh, I've gotten a lot because I've handled like 150 of those cards. But N- Now my brag about, not really a brag, it doesn't but me saying that I was in front of a slot machine in Vegas means nothing because I but didn't you even do it right. I guess. I still gave the place a review. But that was it. That was Anthony's triggering day at work. Oh, well, you shouldn't get triggered about that. It's got to look at something that's something For to laugh three at. Three hours, man. Like, it just no, built know, up but... over time. And I was like, like, because I didn't want to fire back at the guy because it's like, you know, my manager. And like... See, I learned a lot of this from my old roommate, Mac, mm-hmm. who again has his birthday today. What up? Because he is like that. And I, I and, and the more I think about my time, like him and I hanging out together and stuff, a lot of it was ribbing and a lot of it was like, like you do something really good. I remember specifically doing something in culinary school because we were in the same class and like him walking by, it's like, oh, that looks like a piece of shit. And like, I worked so hard on it. Right. And it was, it was probably about six months after we had lived together. So it was fine. But I know that if it was anybody else, I would have freaked the fuck out. But him and I had that relationship where it's like, okay, yeah, fuck you. And then you'd like walk away. Right. He knows it. He's yeah. witnessed it. It's hilarious. But it also depends on like the relationship, right? Like Barney's like chain of screaming. Yeah. Like I can't kind of like fire back upwards yeah. and then cause that whole like. Well, no, the chain of screaming means that you continue it on to somebody else. So you get oh, yelled at at work. You come home, yell at your mom. Your mom yells at your sister. Your sister yells at your older brother. Your older brother yells at your dad. And then your dad yells at your boss. And then it starts over again. <laughs> So something along those lines, well, well, but I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, again, him and I are super close, so I never have to question his intent mm-hmm. ever. He's the only person. Even you, you're my brother. I don't even know sometimes, okay. but I know it's not That's malicious. Exactly how it's supposed to be. Yeah, sure. I know that it's not <laughs> malicious though, so mm-hmm. I can at least start from there. I just know that there are certain things that I can't say to him that because I know that he'll just like it's done, it's over, like things are shut down, right? Uh, yeah, tons of people like that. For me and my brother, it's a weird relationship because we can have, like, I remember we had, like, this huge, like, fucking, like, not, like, physical, but, like, it got heated. Me and him rolled down the stairs. Oh, we've time. had we lots. Did, but, like, yeah. recently, like, it wasn't physical. That was funny. And the next day, too. like, we didn't apologize. That was it. Like, after the day ended, we're like, okay. Did yeah. not hold any grudges. Didn't be a bitch that's about important. it. That was mm-hmm. it. Yeah, that's important. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, it's totally random. I was at the bank waiting this morning. And so I'm the first one in the vestibule before they open the doors. Then some other guy comes in. This girl comes in. Somebody else comes in. The girl that comes in clearly sees that we're like, there's th- two of us right now, two or three of us waiting in the vestibule, beelines it for the door, starts shaking it like crazy. And we're all like, I'm just looking at her. I've got my, like my head's down. I don't give a fuck about anybody else. Even if they butted in line, they're going first. I'm not even, I don't even give a fuck. Right. And so, like, the girl all of a sudden just, like, looks to the guy across next to me and across from her. It's been a long night. I'm like, that's not a reason. And also, (laughs) why do you have to tell that to these random people in a fucking vestibule at an RBC, you weirdo? And then she just started talking, like, about random things. I I just don't understand. (laughs) The only reason it brought up because it was really funny at the time. And I don't get people that do that because you know who those people are. Yeah. Like, they'll just start. What do you think I'm doing here? What are you, new? Yeah. (laughs) Like, oh, no, we're just we're all just decided to come hang out here. Yeah. Wait until we get enough people. Call Mel Gibson, paint his face blue and white and have him ride across the horse to call us for freedom so we can barrage the, the door. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's a great idea. Anyways, people are it was just really funny how she felt compelled to just tell us it's a long night. Mm-hmm. I have to try and like prove that she's not crazy. I guess so. She failed. <laughs> yes. She looked even worse. All right. Let's get to some stuff. We've got new movies coming out. We've got some really? trailers. Well, 
<laughs> not know, sorry, new movie news. Oh, okay. Um, on the Instagram page, it's good. By the time you guys listen to it, it doesn't even matter. I tried my hand at putting a question up there to see the response. Okay, weirdest thing. I don't get any notification on my Instagram account. Any single account. For some um, reason, somebody responded to that story. That's the uh, first and, um, notification I've ever received in like Jimmy three months from Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, 16 people only saw it. So I don't really, know what the fuck who that account gives a fuck? is the only one that gets notifications. Also, I, it doesn't even show. I don't think anybody even rated it. Right? That shows that nobody rated anything. Well, I didn't see it. So I don't want to rate it. Okay. No, no. That's my story. Yeah. Oh, three oh. said no. Three said no? Okay, so three people vote for no and zero votes for yes. That was Lil Spit underscore Spittle, Ben underscore Hirsch, and underscore Jameson underscore Taft underscore. I know two of those people, two out of three. That's perfect. Um, But you don't know one of them. You just follow Entertain Facts. Okay, that's good. And uh, yeah, so three people say it's not going to be good, but everything's saying that it's awesome. It's a return to form. I think we talked about this last week too, Mm. maybe. I heard it was really good. Yeah, well, not really. Um, I just heard it was like I'm actually legitimate. Like the Halloween reboot. Like it's like, oh, this isn't a piece of shit. This is actually yeah. enjoyable. Mm. Um, we got the Bob Iger stuff. We got some more Scorsese stuff if we want. The the D and D guys, mm-hmm. the Game of Thrones guys, really fucked up and really told a lot of stuff that probably shouldn't have said. That pissed people off even more. Um, the Foggy thing with Charlie Cox. I already had this down. CFC. For for some reason, they're changing the lyrics to "Baby, It's Cold Outside" yeah. NCAA. Oh, and then this, yes, yes. This um, is new. <laughs> what is? You're going through the whole list. Let's talk about something. Oh, yeah, where do you guys want to start? <laughs> some of the start. Yeah. Oh, we're starting from the top. Well, I don't know what you're going through. The, the well, I was just gonna say, like at one point, like oh, okay, this is what we got. Kind of like in the uh, opening thing where it's like it's on just today. It's show. just new. Okay. No, because, I'll tell you why it's not new. It we're is new. F- no, no, no. I'll tell you why it's not new. Because okay. first of all, you're new. Second of all, when we were doing the videos. Okay, how long ago was it the last time you did this? About a year ago. Okay, well, I do enjoy it better though. It's new. Okay, listen, it's new to you because again, you are new. Okay, do you remember it? I don't. Okay, here's the thing. Ah. I mean, can I just say what it is? I do remember it, but like I was gone for so long, I wasn't sure if this is how he always did it. No, no, no. I didn't. I did before. Yes. Sorry, I, did, I, 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 did before. I knew he's done this. Before. When we used to do our live show and show it as one long clip, sure. In the or oh, we yeah, turned yes, it down to 13 actually. minutes we or so. Bio. I would have an intro in the beginning. It would be my face. It would be a close-up yeah, or whatever. Yeah. On today's show, boom, 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 boom. Then the credits. Then we started. Yeah. That's how I used to do it. Okay. So, clearly, you weren't watching. No, I wasn't. Or <laughs> paying attention. No. And now you're in the hot seat. Look at you now. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I also saw Scarface, so I might be dropping a, more, a couple more fucks than usual. Easy, it's gotten yeah. me all riled up. Okay, Peyton Reed is coming back to do Ant Man three. Yes, cool. Mm-hmm. We're all good. Um, I think it's going to be better than Ant Man two for the very reason. I hope that, so. Well, I'll tell you why I think it is because in End Game is done. Right. They don't actually need to force them to tie anything into it, so he can just yeah. make. His singular story, just like the first Ant Man was, because it was a fun movie, mm-hmm. especially with all the development stuff. Yeah, you guys excited? I think so. Not overly, but like I'm sure once like footage comes out, like I'll yeah. enjoy watching yeah. it. But Obviously, like, I'm just saying for the prospect of no, I'm not. I don't really Cause, care because you didn't four, really like Wasp, did you? No, I like the character. I just don't like the movie. No, yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, yes. Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, I didn't no. want to say that. It, it was messy, but again, a okay. lot of it was set up for Endgame. You mm-hmm. for can sure really tell. Well, I was really only interested in the. And credit scene the entire time, right? Sure. And I knew what it was for like a while. Uh, so then you weren't you. really looking forward to it because you already knew. No, I, I didn't like. I hadn't actually like. Like I wasn't spoiled. I just like okay, this is what's gonna happen. Like this yeah. is, it kind of has to happen this way. I'm glad Peyton Reed's doing it and he's continuing it on. Just like um, the guys doing the John guy, John something is doing the Spider Man next one. Into the Spider Verse? No. Nope. Oh, whoever fuck, directed his name? Far From Home. Isn't it Web? No, it was Mark, Amazing no, Spider Man. Web, yeah. <laughs> Web? Well, no, no, Amazing no, Spider Man. Mark Webb yeah, was yeah. Amazing oh, Spider Man. Okay. John something, or it could be totally John wrong. Watts. John Watts, yes. Uh, okay, so yeah. I'm excited he's coming back because it's like his first opening was good, his second one was great, and I think this one's going to be like hit it out of the park. <laughs> um, and some really good news: Spider Verse is coming April 2020. Yes. So that's Isn't also 2021. 20, 21. Is it 21? Oh, yes. 21. Sorry, April 2021 yes. is into Wish the Spider Verse. That'd be amazing. I didn't even realize. I was going to say that's like three years away. And I'm like, wait yeah. a second. 2019 is almost over. That yeah. is like. Two years. That's crazy. Um, even crazier. Well, I'm, my guess is they probably already started on animation from now because it takes so fucking long. For sure it does. Well, I'm sure they'd be able to, like, wouldn't it make be easier after they finish the process first to kind of, like, be able to reuse some of the same shit they did? No. Or because... is it, like, not like video games? You have to, like, just start over for an animated movie. My guess is they might have 
had some things that tied into the original and then they might use them maybe flashbacks or whatever but yeah. i mean when you're animating you just go oh, okay. like whatever you haven't actually drawn and put together and that style that movie so well it beautiful. took like seven Man. years i think they said or some shit like that so it really takes seven years to make the first one mm-hmm. that makes sense mind you but like, it's yeah, not like technology they, upgrades i guess but probably the biggest possibly. thing possibly yeah. Well, and I know I remember last last week when I called you adorable for bringing up the Gemini Man thing. It's actually not quote it. quote adorable. No, I didn't. You know, he was saying how the majority of the budget they lost from was from the tech, but I was saying it was a whole laundry list of things. Mm. But like, I was kind of a dick about it, and I was a little you bit wrong. Yeah, uh, kind of. This is the part where you're like, "Hey, <laughs> you're an asshole," and then we just move on. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, most of it was probably from the tech because they had to have. It doesn't look bad though. Like I'm looking, I I walk in doing theater checks and I'll just like watch a scene quickly and like Will Smith de like de aged actually like looks like normal like doesn't like yeah. look noticeable. But to Vasily's point, how much it cost to get it to oh, that yeah. and the movie sucked, yeah. so then they lost all that money. Like it might have still looked good, but that nobody didn't make up for it. coming out of the theater has ever said it sucked. Everybody That's actually good. praises it. We're like how was the movie really good? I'm like, Is what? It like a critic fail then? I, I like again. Just to go back to my original mm-hmm. point, I just think because they they were advertising heavy on the mm-hmm. 4K, 120 frames per second, whatever. Well, deal. Apparently, we have this special 3D thing for this movie. So you guys might actually have the technology to we play. We do, it and I want to see co- it properly. Like theater, yeah. So a lot of places didn't. But anyways, they they banked a lot on that, and okay. that's what happened. Anyways. Is it coming on Netflix? Is it not a Netflix movie? Uh, no, that's Irishman no. coming out oh, on yeah. November 27th. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So very much the did one... you guys talk about jeremy renner last week jeremy renner like no. getting like people saying he was gonna get kicked out of hawkeye for the accusations of what something he did of 25 like, years ago no of like beating his okay this is like i don't think it's been it's not hasn't been proven so this isn't like word i'm pro... it was either beating his ex-wife or beating his daughter yeah probably well not. if either of those are true then fuck him yes yeah, so if it's true we cast him but like i don't think it is because disney was like apparently people are saying they were gonna like james gun him and just like exile him before it's like confirmed or like yeah. debunked of course they but would. they said they're going with it like they're keeping him unless it's proven true hey which man, of course that's like a fucking yes. like i said if it's true fuck him mm-hmm. if it's not yeah then everybody can go fuck themselves mm-hmm. who's behind this because look at what happens with everybody else and now it's just turned into a joke this is right like at least disney's doing like you know what innocent until proven guilty which is a fair stance like again it's not a fair if he's stance. guilty that's the stance if he's guilty yeah. yes no one's gonna be like oh you know keep him like no no right minded person will say it i'm sure there will be people yeah they'll like oh whatever you know keep him as hawkeye i love him as hawkeye <laughs> but yeah no everybody else will be like get them the fuck out don't, don't, don't get weird. me wrong it'd be not that hawkeye is the most prominent character but at the same will be for the disney plus right yeah. yes for disney plus stuff but it's just you lose one of the ogs it's mm-hmm. kind of sad that's the only thing yeah but again does it matter at this point but like they have a, a show bit. with him like uh, they're gonna no, give I, him redemption so it's like oh and he finally gets his chance it's like uh like black widow getting her own movie then like Let's cut. So let's cut. Fuck. What's your name? Scarlett Johansson or the movie like cast yeah, one else. Well, if she beat, you know what the funny thing is? If Scarlett Johansson beat her husband and her kid, nobody would be kicking her out of, <laughs> out of Hollywood. That's true. She could have beaten him. Equality. She could have had, she could have had <laughs> yeah. her husband in a fucking cage and only let him out for supper time. And they would still keep her. And if Jeremy Renner did the same thing, then he's out. Then he's out. They'll castrate him in the streets. It's just the way that it is. Yeah. Uh, we live in a society. Equality. Many. Do you um, what you get when you cross. Jeffrey Wright confirmed to play Commissioner Gordon. Love this casting. That's awesome. But he's black. <laughs> wow. That's a joke. Please, I'm making fun of people. Don't, is, don't take this out of context. He's going to be so good. I think it'll be awesome. Yeah. I don't get why people are bitching like, oh, but he's black. Commissioner Gordon's never black. It's like nobody gives a fuck about Commissioner Gordon, but he's not like Batman. They're like, oh, mm-hmm. it's listen, a if, fucking if, commissioner. This is the this is going to be the argument that I'm going to that I'm going to come up with later on. If someone's going to be like, oh, it's not really that faithful to whatever comic they were going for. Well, Commissioner Gordon's not black, so Nick Fury. What do white. you want? Nick Fury's white, so you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. You didn't seem to mind then, but now you seem to mind the fact that the Riddler didn't have four question marks on his fucking forehead. <laughs> was that from Arkham Games? No. I don't know. Wasn't the design? I don't know. He didn't. It's just, he's got question marks. I could have sworn he had like a branded question mark in one. No, I, don't know. I think it was. I think you're talking about Bullseye from Daredevil. That is Bullseye from Daredevil. Speaking of which, <laughs> Feige has expressed that he loves Charlie Cox's Daredevil and that he would be interested in the idea of bringing him into Disney+. Plus. That'd be awesome. Well, him and Tom Hiddleston switched costumes for Halloween. That was so, so good. Sweet. Yeah. That might be a good sign, though, Like yeah. if they're like doing shit. And then and then Loki, who's already got a show, and been like, hey, man, 
Let's get this guy in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that I would wonder, work. You know what? With his senses, I oh, that now you say that, that would be interesting to see Loki and Daredevil. Yeah, at first, it. like, why the fuck? Then I'm like, oh, I don't know how much. Yeah, because aside from the fact that he can duplicate himself, mm-hmm. that's still something that he would have to sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the difference between the hand being able to slow down their hearts, and he'd have to listen to that, right? Yeah, they showed in the second. I think the best way to introduce Daredevil is as Peter Parker's lawyer in Spider-Man 3. You mean Ooh. like he introduced him in The Defenders? I haven't seen The Defenders. Oh, he walk, Jessica Jones got arrested oh. and he walks in and he's like, Jessica Jones, I'm your lawyer. But yes, like that, because like to, you know, with all the legal or all the issues in Peter Parker's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Yeah, I think the issues <laughs> that Peter Parker has right now are a lot bigger than being in I court. I swear to God, way, yeah. if they just quickly. <laughs> Having to be defended. Yeah. If they quickly resolve this issue like they did with like the cliffhanger in Homecoming, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> If they just like, oh, I know it's fixed in the first 10 minutes and that was it. Well, I think the whole entire oh, world. So it's interesting because technically he should have been revealed to the world in the Civil, Civil War, right? Like in the mm-hmm. comics, that's when he got revealed. Like yeah. Tony Stark convinced him to do it. So they've kind of done that mm-hmm. here. Yeah. So not having read past Civil War, or not knowing much about past Civil War. Sorry, by past Civil War, I mean after. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, I don't know how they're going to Oh, they're not going to do it the same way. Because I think he did, like, this one deal with, like, Madam Webb where, like, she had to, or he had to trade his marriage with Mary Jane mm-hmm. to, like, have everybody's memory erased. Oh. Or, no, that was to save Aunt May. I don't know. It was, some, it was a really stupid. That would be a really weird crossover. Like, not realistic the men in at all. black show up and then they decided to use the <laughs> to oh. neuralize her. Wait, which men in black are you? The Chris Hemsworth of the Will Smith? I can never <laughs> tell. But, no, I'm excited. I hope they... Do you, I hope they bring him back just because yeah. the I I don't know because I like the show. He was so good. Honestly, out like, of all, out the third of all of season them, like were, sold were me on the show and then they canceled it. I still like the second actually. Hmm. I, I'm I'm still like I like all three. The second yeah. is the weakest. The first for some reason just always gets me. And maybe just that that first hallway scene alone. Mm. Like when I, I rewatched it recently, mm. um, and by recently I think it was like May. It's still on Netflix. Yep, kicking around. And um, they, will they take it off? Isn't that Netflix's show? I think there might be an exclusive right until Disney Plus. Will they be able to take it back? Because it, it's a Netflix show, like at the end of the day. But it's a Disney Marvel. property. Like, it's a Marvel Disney or, property. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know because they remo- didn't I, they remove well, the other ones already? No, I, I think, think so. Defenders is still kicking around too. Yeah, it is. They're all on there. Yeah, I think maybe until their contract runs up, like in like the two years, Daredevil can like go back mm-hmm. to Marvel. Like, a, like an exclusive right for the first period of time. That way they can't create another Daredevil or Jessica Jones. They, well, can't, they, can't. they can't do another Defenders thing based on whatever yeah. contract they have. They can't show the characters on screen until like three years have passed. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you guys getting Disney Plus? I'm getting it. I think my brother is. I think I might get it. Yeah. It's, it's the... It's fairly cheap to be honest, no, yeah. and I'd, if you can just pay the one year out one right away, I mean, or if you pay the monthly, whatever. So but it's eight bucks a month, correct? For us, yeah, because yeah, in the states it's seven. No, I think so. I don't know. I don't I've seen it's seven, and then Apple is five, but no one likes Apple no. streaming. <laughs> Apple's just like no one cares. They don't have. I don't think they have enough like properties to like even be interesting yeah. enough yet. Like they have Steve Carell's show, but yeah, like the morning show, yeah. yeah. You That's, know where Netflix. M- like they got in early, so obviously they're gonna have mm-hmm. the, the leg up. They got all the really good content, and they've been able to slowly fill in their own content. Yeah. Now, people know that their content is at least eighty percent good. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I'll say, at a minimum, seventy percent of it is not only just watchable but outstanding. Yeah, and a lot of people are still gonna use them because they give free creative license. Who knows if Disney Plus will allow that and because depending on what they decide just to keep there yeah and same with apple how mm-hmm. much control are they going to have but well, should be interesting um i guess we can go to the fact that bob Iger, who was defending we talked about this kind of where bob Iger was saying a bunch of people but I, I missed this completely he said that black panther is as good as a scorsese film <sighs> no bob Iger. Give, give us the quick answer please no bob Iger. <laughs> black panther is there, there isn't a single MCU movie that could even compare to just Raging Bull, okay? Let alone Casino, let alone The Departed. They're different let, movies. No, yeah, but no. the thing is, like, so he's trying to compare them. I get that, so yeah. not only are they different, they're so far away from each other. Yeah. They're not even in the same. Like, there is a multiverse. That they won't even cross over, mm. but to say that Black Panther, like to, to specifically say to that Black out, Panther is which, as good, if there's any of them that is, it would still be Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. That would be the only one that would even, 
even come close to being somewhat similar to The Departed in in a very minuscule, not very close way Mm -hmm. kind of deal, right? I just hate the fact, because someone pointed out online that like they think that they're using Black Panther as an scapegoat. goat. So if you say anything bad about Black Panther, they'll pull the race card. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's what people Which do. Which happens, any, you're not even like if Bob Iger had the intent, but if, even if you try and like debate it, they're like, oh, you, you're white. It doesn't matter. It's like, shut up. I, I, I think because it's Black Panther movie. won an Oscar. Yeah. So but did then, Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's exactly, that's the other thing. <laughs> that's exactly it. Suicide Squad won it. So mind you, it's not a Marvel property. So it's not going to bring it up. But no, there isn't a single MCU movie that's close to Scorsese, or it's close to The Godfather One and Two. Like it, to speaking of Coppola that we talked about last week, yeah. Um, yeah, and even he's like changed his stance. It's a, Scorsese said now it's a new art form, and then Coppola came back and said uh, it, it doesn't take any risks and stuff. Which that, if he said first, I get it. It's true. Why say anything? Oh, it's just because they want attention. It, it's going to be this thing, man. It, it always happens every yeah. single generation. But Scorsese backtracked in the way he did. Like that's come on, man. You know yeah. you you shouldn't have said anything. It's because he went so hard out of the gate. Now he's backtracking. Where which no, sucks because if you're going to say something like that, make stand your own, by it. Just make your own. Just stand by it. Yeah. Called. I don't day. think Steven Spielberg's even apologized for the stuff that he was saying. And not that he needs see, to. See, Spielberg did it like backhanded almost for sure he did but he like, still hasn't backtracked from his no. backhanded because everybody comments. forgets nobody cares like after a yeah. week like nobody's like yeah. oh fucking yeah. Martin Scorsese like nobody cares I love the guy I'm gonna watch everything he fucking puts out he's like 78 years old there's not gonna be much left and now I'm just upset that he's backtracking like just take the hit you're, like you're on one Johansson side and backtracked didn't she oh my god and we she, talked she, about it she, she so should happy. not have and then the week after like fuck it it was such a uh, like she she had everybody and she had Everything that she said was perfect, mm-hmm. and she had to backtrack. Like fuck, mm, um, PR people. Um, um, um. Oh, I like haven't mentioned this for two weeks now, and I've had this in the notes. Or no, I've had to remind myself to put this in the notes now. Have you guys listened to the Joker soundtrack? No. Why would it? Gentlemen, sounds very depressing. I don't know how you want. Is, first of all, it's outstanding. First of all, yeah. Second of all, it is fucking depressing third if you're driving around town eerie no no no. not driving around town is not eerie it would be eerie with the soundtrack and you, i'll tell you what's even if worse. somebody was driving what's even worse town, no, you're, you're not their music in the car yeah, like just that. relax look at him shut down already <laughs> it's if you're driving around town it's somewhat rainy and you're in like a not so great part of town with it playing in the background it fucks with you i was at a light this is how fucked up my brain got there was a family. It was looked like a single mom, her two older boys, and then a baby in the stroller. Okay, and you could tell like she's exhausted. Like this is like mm-hmm. she's fucking doing all of this stuff. Now her husband could be working. Who knows, right? But like it was so crazy. They're pushing the stroller. The kids are kind of like play fighting as across the street. She's trying to yell at them. And as that music was playing in the background, it almost seemed like the sound was turned off, and it was a slow motion montage with this music. I was like. <laughs> Oh, I got to change this right away. So then I put on Taylor Swift's I Knew You Were Trouble and everything was fine in the world. That's your go-to song to pick up your mood? No, mm-hmm. it just like I pressed the button to, oh, okay. and then the radio went on and it was playing. But that's a that's a fucking jam, man. No, I'm know. one of those people that like Taylor Swift after the country stuff because I think yeah. country's garbage. Yeah. I listen to a lot of like just random like Katy Perry. Like it's good Taylor. driving music. I don't give a shit. It's nice to like listen to. Well, I, I can't say I'm a fan of Taylor Swift if it's only one song. No, I just listen to a couple. Like, I don't listen to like, mm-hmm. a bunch of like Katy Perry song i like, used to love i kissed a girl i once so kissed and then he kissed a girl and he didn't love it i once kissed a girl while listening to kissed a girl it was very meta wow and he wrote taylor swift dear no katie perry <laughs> no i didn't write anything to taylor swift because then if she freaked out and got mad at whatever i wrote then i'd be in a song yeah you could sue her no i can't because she could just write a song and it could be about anybody yeah i was thinking about that the other day and by their day i mean when like a month and a half ago when i was in calgary I was driving around. John Legend's song John came Lennon. on, uh, which we'll get to John Legend in a minute. Is it Legend or Lennon? Legend. Is there two people Legend. named John Lennon is from the Beatles? Yeah, yeah. okay. I, 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 okay. John so Legend? John Legend has all of me, and I use that in my engagement oh, videos true. and stuff. It's a really nice song, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But then I'm thinking, I'm like, well, what if him and his wife break up? We know that song's about her. She's in the music video. And so then it led me, I'm like, Think about all the songs that are out there mm-hmm. that don't age well just for the fact that they've either separated with the person that they're with, something went down the tube, or in Taylor Swift's case, every single one of her boyfriends has been immortalized in a hate song that she's mm-hmm. decided to hit. 
and to make and then hits the number one billboard. Like yeah. you're the guy that Taylor Swift wrote about. Yeah. Like that's not fucking cool. Doesn't that remind you from the Boy Meets World episode where that chick wrote a song about Eric and she was only famous because she had a, a shit uh, like a song to attack him? Very like vaguely. Yeah. You're okay. gonna have to send me the clip. Okay, it's, it's was she crazy? She like she, she was loved kinda, him. She loved him. Like yeah. she was all lovey dovey at first and made some like nice songs, and then she made edgy songs about hating Eric, <laughs> and then that's the only way she had any creative juice because she hated this guy. So it's like that's Taylor yeah, Swift. She's like she only has a creative juice when she's against someone. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, that's what that, reminded me of. That'd be something to be <laughs> careful about. So no, I don't want to be immortalized in anyone's song because then anything could happen. It's the same thing as getting a tattoo of like somebody. Like, because you don't ever know what's going to happen. And all of a sudden, you got this Bad fucking idea. mark on your arm. I would never do a tattoo. No. No, I would do a tattoo, just not of anybody's name. I'm just except- too indecisive. Like, I feel like I'd have it. I'm like, this is a great idea. And afterwards, I'm like, I want a different one. If I was doing a Can tattoo of this? anything, <laughs> like, I would do, like, if anybody's name, I would do my parents. But what if they? Maybe even you. But you probably not yeah, you. Yeah, because if we decide to fight yeah, and we never talk to each other again, that might be the thing to, I look at it every single day going on through life and being like, I should call him. It's been three years. He reminds me because he's on my forearm. And then I go to pick up the phone. And just like Tony, when I'm about to press that button, all of a sudden there's a tornado outside and I have to save the world. And then we have to meet five years later. Right. After me being in space and losing to Thanos. But no. Chanter? <laughs> <laughs> exactly he decides to wipe out half the people yeah. there's this huge battle I guess so <laughs> wow wow one in Moose Jaw one in Regina <laughs> we meet up halfway through in Pence my brother's like I needed you <laughs> Wouldn't that be the other way around Wouldn't oh yeah you? sorry I give him my key I take the keys from my pocket I put it in his hand and he's just like it's like 60 kilometers that way you fuck let's just go <laughs> that would work uh, there we got a show how do you make a low budget Endgame with the Greek community. The <laughs> most lowest of budgets. Or the lowest of budgets. Um, this fucking thing's wrecking my hair. Anyways, long story short, Joker soundtrack, I would highly recommend listening to it because it is wonderful. I love how we go. Like I, lo- I yeah. love how this stuff is. Like I love the fact that we get on one topic, it breaks off into three other ones, yeah. and then I realize where we're at. Just by the way, so yeah, talking about our Greek chanter Thanos destroying half the world. Yeah. So that concludes our uh, Joker topic. Let's yeah. move on. <laughs> and for all of you guys that are wondering, like, are we making this up? No, no, no. Like, we have a friend. His name is Thanos. I always love seeing these facts saying fourteen people in the USA were named Thanos this year. Yeah. Why would they do that? And then all the comments, it's a Greek name, fuckhead. Yeah. yeah, it is. A, it's a very well. It's a short version of a, a very Thanos-os? popular Greek Athanasios. Oh. Well, I only read it. I never uh, actually okay. heard this name before. Like, I guess since pole. I mentioned Joe Le- John Legend and all of me look being really, really super stupid and depressing later on if they decide to split up. Uh, him and Cl- Kelly Clarkson decided to rewrite Baby It's Cold Outside. Guess yeah. we're bringing that back to controversy. Well, to do... of, why not? They're that was re- last year. What re- a throwback. Yeah, we They're rewriting this. it to... Uh... It's to your choice and something. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're taking out the... the PC, sub- not PG. PC, sorry. yeah. They're, they're PC taking principle. out... When the fuck did correctness turn political? That's what I want to know. I have no idea. I, don't know. I just love the PC principle in South Park. I didn't. Is that an episode? No, it's a whole... He's just a whole character now. It oh, started nice. off like years ago and now he's still there. And he's like doing an like, assembly and some girl talks. Hey! I played it. Shut your fucking mouth! And that's the PC <laughs> principle. Like, oh, you yeah, said yeah, something, yeah. that's him. It's just so <laughs> funny. I just think it's uh, it's unnecessary, it's silly, and I guess the daughter of the guy that made that song is like, well, it's super disrespectful and I'm upset. No one seems to give a fuck. Yeah, basically. Um, but at the same time... It's like, get over it. You, like, no, 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 like, yeah, get over the, the like lyrics. Not her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, not her, sorry, yeah. yeah. No. Um, I'd be, yeah, I'd be pissed too. But, I mean, we also talked about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood where they didn't like the way Bruce Lee was portrayed, but yeah. I have my own theories on that on both ends. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, anyways, that's stupid. So, mm-hmm. John Legend and Kelly Clarkson, you guys are accomplishing nothing. Well, they just want to cash in. It's yeah, for sure. What this is. It's like, it's not fuck like them, man. we're really big fans of this song, and we want to change it. Yeah, yeah. not to make no, money. No, no, they're not. Supposedly, now after I don't know fifty years, people are not a fan of the song, and no, now they want to change it. You just watch, man. They're gonna fucking start changing a lot of other shit because they feel because there's a small minority that's still. Well, yelling. they tried the national anthem, but nobody sings it. Fuck that! They actually changed it. I found I this out. They changed it. I had yeah, no but idea. Everyone sings the original. Yeah, yeah everyone. Like, everyone literally at sing. every event, nobody. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. Because uh, by all thy son's command, nothing to do with gender. No, it's because the there are, I think it's millions of men 
who were commanded to fight for Canada and died. Yeah. Okay? Even if you're going to say, well, there was some women too. Granted, there were. But the amount of men that died to women, it's not even fucking close. Plus it rhymes. Plus it's, it Sorry, flows better. It flows, not rhymes. Yeah, no, for sure. It flows better. Well, so that's what really bothered me. It's like, no, it has nothing to do with just favoring men. Those are the ones that fucking died for you to sit there and be on your goddamn laptop so you could bitch about this shit. Fuck you. Two years ago, my history teacher said something that like really stuck with me, saying like, yeah, a country like out of nowhere can claim they're a country. But if nobody acknowledges them as a country, they're not a country. Hmm. So it's like the national anthem. You can change it. But if nobody acknowledges it, it's mm. not like nobody gives yeah. a fuck. Yeah, that's true. It's like it wasn't even there. That's a good history. Um, I like that. Uh, for, so from that side, I guess we can say John Legend and Kelly Clark Clarkson. Fuck you because I yelled it. Um, I'm uh, super excited that the NCAA players. Two listeners. Is, yeah. yeah. John Legend and Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> it's okay. We lost Coppola last week. Fuck. Uh, NCAA to allow players to now make money, so which is state unbelievable. Is yeah, uh, that is the best thing because it's always been super shitty the way these players are being treated. And like yeah. now, so, so I don't know the full details yet, but it has to do with if their their likeness is used in a game or if there's sponsorships and stuff. Like they're well, actually able to cash in. There's on There's games, isn't there? NCAA. Yeah. So and, and all of them are in there. American College. I think uh, anything involving the American college, like any NCAA regulated sports for now, which I think is incredible because Mm -hmm. like the fact that there's probably hundreds of thousands of kids over the years Mm -hmm. that not missed their shot. It just didn't happen for them. And they've been like, I know they're students and I know they, they claim put them under student athletes, but you know what? That's what they say in other countries about, Mm -hmm. Oh, they're just child laborers. no, your there's your slaves mm-hmm. like yeah. these kids are five years old and they're threading together t-shirts that we're wearing like a bunch of fucking hypocritical assholes and so now at least these kids can actually do it because when they don't make it to the nhl which is the highest probability or the nba or the olympics or whatever mm-hmm. i mean even when they get to the olympics it still sucks they'll at least have something to show for mm-hmm. yeah. right like at the end of the day because they have families that are yeah right they're full-time athletes like but most college, of the time it's tough. the good thing is that they most of them are in scholarships yeah that's for sure it. which helps understandable for sure but, but the the getting paid for like it would be no different than anyone if they're using like you said if you're using their likeness in a game uh promotions or anything like that, yeah they should get their cut I, and i think that's where it's coming from yeah. like it's it's not that oh we're gonna start paying you guys yeah. obviously but it's going to be when they use their likeness. So, yes, there's still going to be some kids that are like yeah. third stringers that won't get sponsored by anybody. For sure. And there is going to be a thing where you're going to have that one star that's always going to be getting all the sponsorship money. Because yeah. like, there, it, there is a very dark side to it. But at least there's something that they can build from. At least, like, I think so. Mm-hmm. Because the fact that all year round they're like training – and going to school, yeah, twenty four seven. They have to keep up grades. They have to do that. Like, that's not easy to do. I mean, you have a fucking job now, and you're in university, and it's not that easy. And you don't do fuck all outside of that. Mm-hmm. Imagine having to train for football every goddamn day and weekend. Like, come on. Um, stupidity rises once again. Netflix decided to try to add or wants to add a new feature. It's not stupidity. Higher. That's just like a cool Stupid. feature. No, it's. You think it's cool? Well, I'm not going to use it, but like. I don't care. It's not like, oh, this doesn't take away from anything. What do you think? I don't know much about it. It's just so they, they, they want to have a playback button that goes 1.5 times the speed so you can binge faster. That's what Netflix wanted to add. And of course, John Favreau, I think, was the one that said the funniest. He's like, I'm going to get every single director, writer, and everybody to come out, like to, to band together against you guys if that's the case. And so did Brad Bird, hmm. Shadow uh, Dapatow, and I'm one of the voices that, no, I think it's stupid. It's just like YouTube. Like I don't think like I understand it's disrespectful, but it's also like well, it's not disrespectful. It's actually ruining what's out there. But YouTube, like, who gives a fuck? If it's you a bunch to of view it. Like you no, know, I know. So what are you saying? It just speeds up the whole yeah, content. Like, yeah, there's going to be the option that people can speed up the whole content. What's the point? That's exactly it. No it. Sense. Well, but I think it, there's a need. No, no, I'll but I'm just saying why it doesn't matters. make any sense. Like what are you, are you? Why would you want to watch it any faster? You yeah. watch it at the rate it's supposed to, because you can tell, especially if you're rewatching something. And you watch it at a different speed, whether it's slower or faster, you can tell right away that case something doesn't seem right. Mm. That kind of thing. So it's going to, I don't know. I won't like it. I won't use it. It will ruin whatever you're watching it on unless it's filmed to show it that way. Mm -hmm. Because for the guys that are like, no, 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 I'm actually the one. Like, So you as a viewer who's done nothing but pay into this and you've got somebody that's worked for years, 
working on this thing to produce it and make it the way that he wants you to watch it. And then all of a sudden you've got some asshole sitting at home and it's like, well, I got to get through five other shows and a reviewer, let's say, Mm -hmm. who has to go through a bunch of shows because he has to meet the deadline for Friday where he's reviewed these eight shows because that's how it works now. And I mean, has worked, but there's way more to catch up on. And he's just going to sit there powering through, then try to put up a comprehensive review at 1.5 times the speed of what the creators intended it to be viewed as. And then they're going to say, well, I like they're going to a miss stuff, b not get the full effect of things and c have to constantly stop and start it if they need to catch something. Mm -hmm. I just don't see what the point is. Well, exactly. They're probably not. I don't think they're going to go through with it, (laughs) but they, they have already like i don't think they're ultimately going to go through with it i think they might still play around with it but i don't think it's going to go through no or i think a lot of people are going to be pissed off about it honestly backlash can help to be honest again sonic the hedgehog sony with the spider-man thing apparently they're attributing a lot of the fan but they also said like it was a mix of everybody but for sure but the the portals opened all of us decided to walk through them and fight them on it and then that happened but sony also said at the end of the day like the, the end result was going to happen. Either For way. sure. Yeah, that's true. Just whatever. Hey, man, what did I say to you the one time? I think it was they already had it done and mm-hmm. then they just waited it out. And then they said, hey, by the way, we got this done for y'all. And yeah. then everyone's going to be like, oh, great. Because mm-hmm. that's how we sound. That's what a lot yeah. of people say about Sonic. Yeah. <sighs> they fucking. They, I don't I, This is a really. If they did this purposely, I will give them props. They're saying that whatever Sega, whoever made the Sonic movie. Yeah. Did a second trailer. And they changed Sonic's design so it looks very shitty. Mm. Just to get a bunch of people hating on it. Yeah. And then they change it, quotation marks. Yeah. But they already had that original design in the movie. Because I'm thinking about it, that would be a lot of work to change every single scene. Yep. Yeah. And like, I, they delayed it. Like, it was $2 they're, million they're, dollars for Cavill's mustache. Mm. $7 million. Seven million? I thought it was two. No, it was $7 million. So for his fucking face, and that looked like garbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I, I agree. I think you're Jesse right. Jesse Eisenberg didn't even know about that because I was watching an interview and some, that's why like I just watched it recently and like it was $7 million. And he's like, what, really? Like I never even heard about this. And he just looked. Oh, that's fucking wild. Oh, yeah. That's a... Uh... Okay, that was it. That was in the conversation. With Yikes. That. I finally watched Aquaman mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. It's good, eh? It's pretty good. It's all right. I liked it. Uh, it was it was fun. Like it was a nice kind of fun movie. Yeah. I enjoyed myself. I thought it was cool. I enjoyed I it like as underwa- much I like underwater well. stuff a lot. So mm-hmm. like that alone, it's like, oh, that's fucking cool. Uh, I watched Bumblebee today for the first time. Bumblebee is a really good movie, actually. I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. And the ending, the Shia LaBeouf reference at the end. I, I Yeah, I thought there was so... I can't remember then. It was yeah. just the old... He just transformed into the old car and they're like... Well, he, he transformed oh, yeah, the that Camaro. Yeah. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense because when we found him in the Shia LaBeouf movie, he wasn't in that car. He was in the... Look at it changed. Burned out. No, wait. It was It's the car. same car. It's just yeah. like yeah. Right, sorry. Yeah. And the obviously the 80s version, not the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I uh, I really liked it. I yeah. was like, this is really heartwarming. Um, and it seemed like a movie focused on Transformers, not mm-hmm. humans. Yeah. This was Michael good. Bay produced, correct? Maybe. I don't yeah, know. So. I'm working on it. Uh, what, uh, there's something else. Oh, I watched Dolomite is my name. That How was, was that? pretty good. It was, was good. Yeah. It, it was, uh, it's on Netflix right now. Yeah. It was really cool seeing Eddie Murphy be like, Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Um, Wesley Snipes was really funny in it. Okay. Everybody in it was really good. Uh, it moves pretty quick. Yeah, but you know, it's it's a tale about a guy that wasn't willing to let anybody tell him otherwise, and he did his thing. Yeah, um, there is an underpinning of where it all started that is a little hazy that wasn't inter- like that wasn't talked about after yeah. or brought back. So that's kind of one thing that's kind of be like, hmm, what about that thing from early on in the beginning that could cause some problems here? But anyways, yeah. it's re- it's good. It's fun to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, it was fun to watch. Are you watching Watchmen? No, no. That's Are you on. To? I'm not. I'm halfway through the first What's episode. On? What's it on? HBO. It on M- yeah, I don't have HBO. Uh, we got Crave. I can watch it. No. I've been so out of touch of like new shows. I've mm-hmm. just been watching my Riverdale every week mm-hmm. and The Office. Your Riverdale. Yeah, it's a part of you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I found all my comics. There you go. I was going through the bookshelf back there. Still have all those Archies, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, fucking Nick. I don't know. He loved Archies. I'm like, man, why didn't you buy Marvel comic books I could Archies fucking look at huge. and sell? I bet you Archies are. <laughs> are <laughs> you think you'd let you sell them? Good no, luck. I'd yeah, take yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, wow. Soph's well, he brother, just has them at like grandma's house. It's okay. It's collecting, man. Soph's brother's got four Marvel comics from. I think it would be like around. Like, I don't know how far into they are, but I'll have to check the codes Nick on them. had Flash versus Superman, the race. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. But it was totally fucked. Uh, yeah. 
but it's still cool to see. Like I'm like, oh, that's nice. This Ma- is imagine important. having the foresight to like hold on to that kind of stuff. I tried doing that, so I bought these four Ninja Turtles, mm-hmm. like small ones. And in my stupid brain, I thought I was like, oh, I'm gonna save these, keep them in the package. Mm-hmm. Nothing's gonna happen to them. And in 50 years, they're going to be worth a bunch of money. These were generic toys, oh, okay? Yeah. And so I had taped them up on my wall thinking that that was a thing, like that that's going to save them. Um, I think I lasted two days. <laughs> and what happened was the tape gave way because yeah. I didn't tape it very well. And one of them fell and I kind of like looked at it and I'm like, I want to play with this. So then I mm. opened them all up and I played with them and that was the end of that story. That's how music went. I don't understand yeah. how Nick like... Uh, as a kid, I always thought he had these as kids, like all the Transformers. I'm like, oh, you got it when you're an adult. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to open that shit up and play with them, obviously. That's true. But still, I just look at like all like the adult collections of like action figures and shit. Mm-hmm. And like keeping those things in packages would be hard because you can like just make cool ass displays. Like, I don't know. It's tough. Yeah. Well, and it's uh, it's part of the marsh. It's like the marshmallow test. Mm-hmm. So there's a marshmallow test. That, now, do you know about that? So they, they have these kids and they put a marshmallow in front of them and says, if you wait 10 minutes, you'll get two marshmallows and then more and more. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so it's testing to see how uh, impulsive the kids are mm-hmm. where like if they can't wait the 10 minutes for this marshmallow. Yeah. I know I probably wouldn't. I think they use it to also test psychopaths, too, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's essentially well, a then. test on like you getting what you want when you want it, not when it's the best to get it. it like. It, or um, in other terms, it's like uh, it was a chapter in a book I was reading. It's called uh, "Do What Is Meaningful, Not What Is What Is Expedient," mm-hmm. which is something I've been trying to do recently. Um, what the hell is this? Oh. oh, I got my voiceover stuff back on, so I'm going to start doing that. I know I heard one of yours. Oh, you post on Facebook? That's what it was. Yeah, no, that well, that was the one I did for Nick. Um, no, it was a uh, is the website that I use. This is how fucking many they sent me. Watch this. Holy crap. These are all auditions that I got that I can audition for. Oh, get started. I think there's like 85 different auditions. One of them is for $1,500. Do it. It's really cool. If anyone wants to get into voiceover, uh, voices.com is the one I've been using. Uh, it's been really good to me. It's super easy to use. So, um, yeah, voices.com. Uh, I think it's like 500 for the year. And if you do like three or four, if you get even three or four jobs, you could probably you could pay it off because yeah. at minimum, I think the lowest I've seen is a hundred, but most of the time you get at least one hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. So you can at least pay off your subscription, get your hand in some voiceovers. Um, that is voiceovers voices.com. They don't pay me for any of this stuff. I just have used it in the past, and it was really good. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's finally good to get back in. All right, let's talk some trailers. Mandalorian first. You go for it. Okay. Looks amazing. Yeah. I don't really care for Star Wars, but I'll probably watch it and give it a shot. Yeah, I didn't Are care they, about Star Wars until that. Trailer. Is it weekly releases or is it all at once for Disney Plus? That's weekly. Okay, okay, I'll try. I'll yeah. check. It I out. think Disney Plus is starting it like is going to be ro- rolling their shows out weekly from the get. All of them. All of them. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to do the binge thing. Good. That's um, what DC does for Titans. I know that they don't release good. it all at once. Yeah, they just do it weekly. But again, and then on Netflix, it's, it's not a once. DC. It's a Netflix thing. Hmm? Netflix. The next Netflix did, it did uh, Titans. No. Nope. DC has their own streaming service. Oh, they do. But then it goes on Netflix for countries that don't have DC's like streaming oh, service. Okay, gotcha. And we don't. No, Mandalorian looks amazing. Um, it looks real good. Yeah, I, I from the get go, I think this was a a smart move on their part where they can build on this. And is it canon? I think so. Okay. I think I think anything that comes out from this okay. is all canon. Mm-hmm. Any MCU stuff, any oh, yeah, Star Wars related stuff was canon. So yeah. I assume yeah, yeah. That was in the works for like seven years, he said, or something. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know, seven. It was like a long time. Like he said, he was like, but I mean, in the works could be like them working on a script for two years, mm-hmm. back and forth, trying to find yeah. somebody to make but it. He, yeah, like, he, he had a lot of questions. Like he, had, like that was part of the question he probably got asked all you're the time. You're talking about so, he as in you and McGregor. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at every con he went to, every time, like, oh, you coming back? It's all we want. No, I'm not. Like you have to like. Be well, he was strict. actually he he was always saying like I'd like to if they have something. So he never said no or whatever. He just said I would really like to if they have something going. So meaning he's not. They're not alluding to that. Something things in the works mm. it's just like oh if they decide to go do it and stuff but um he was on kimmel yeah i think it was kimmel kimmel he though. did that long mm. one and he said it started to get like i was i was hoping for the job like i wanted it so he kind of like kept his mouth up but yeah he played the long game on that and eventually you know he's reaching that good age where mm-hmm. he even looks the part a little yeah. bit better even but i yeah you mcgregor is amazing so is this gonna be like a one series and it's over like just a one shot for obi-wan i think it's, it's like a timeline wise like i think it's like between episodes three and four yeah it'd be great if they got liam neeson and they could do a quiet con and obi-wan 
I, I, you know what? They'll find someone. Yeah. And they probably could DH him too, or both. Yeah. Because he, he's dead, right? Oh, yeah. Qui Gon shouldn't be involved in no. Darth be, Maul, though. Cool. Right. Darth cool. Maul, though. That's who I'm, I'm betting right now. He's the villain of this series. Yeah. With the robotic. And maybe Obi Wan kind of ends him for good, kind of thing, which is why he's not in anything else. Well, I think in the Clone Wars. He like died. they, he had the robotic legs. Yes, he didn't die though. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. remember he like that's like the big villain. Yeah. And the Clone Wars are supposed to be supposed to be canon. They as were well. supposed to be canon. Yeah. Disney bought the cartoon it, is canon for sure. No, it isn't anymore. Not anymore. When Disney Not bought anymore. it, they like cut everything out. Like yeah, because no the books were that. the books were canon. Everything was canon that like George Lucas wrote. Yeah, and they bought it, and only the movies. Hmm. Well, that probably goes by what George Lucas was pretty much screwed over when Bob Iger said, it's like, yeah, we just said, yeah, okay, George patted him on the head, walked mm-hmm. him out the door and be like, we're slashing everything. <laughs> but um, he sold it, so who cares? Yeah. No, you knew what was going to happen. That's true. Yeah. Um, Witcher. Ooh. So what was the form at the end? So when he takes his poisons... There are certain there are certain things that he takes potions, sorry, that he takes, but they poison his body. But he's immune to certain things. So, with the Witcher, he's got his he's got uh, like all these all these things that he can put. Like if he's fighting vampires, there's a different co- a concoction for that. If he's fighting werewolves, different for this ogres, all of that stuff. So that actually changes his form because he's kind of technically poisoned. His body's fighting it off. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad I saw. Oh man. Are you being like hardcore into the game? You love the game. Hardcore into the game. You weren't Witcher very excited for the show at the start. You were like, you were kind of shitty. So on I don't it. want to pretend like I'm some super fan. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with The Witcher 3, and I think it's one of the greatest games of this generation. Yeah. I haven't read the books. Okay. And that's what this is based off of? I think this is based off the books, which the first one and the second. Like the games are based mm-hmm. off the books too, but I yeah. think they're pulling a lot more from the books. Um, I've watched the movies mm-hmm. for the first and second one. Still not the same. And by movies, I mean when like people on YouTube scenes. cut yeah. together the cutscenes plus yeah. some gameplay. But not having played it, it's not the same thing. Yeah. I do really want to read the books now, but the movie's going to come out soon. Yeah. Um, but I have gone in and looked at a lot of lore. I I adore The Witcher 3 so much yeah. that I'm, I'm probably going to read the books. Mm-hmm. And I may not get to the games, but I really want to read them. Yeah. And and I was very happy with this trailer. I was okay. surprised it had six million views, and I realized, oh yeah, Henry Cavill is playing this guy, and he's like yeah. a kind of a big deal. He, he fought for that too, like he wanted it from the beginning, and sure shit, he got it. Mm-hmm. And I my, mean, he he fits the build for the most part, I'd say. He looks very good. Yeah. My only concern, his voice is too English. Yeah. So Geralt's voice is straight English, not English like like American it's straight English. American. Sorry, oh, it okay. sounds more American than it. Well, sounds he has a good English. American accent. In Mission Impossible, didn't he? Wasn't he American? Yeah. So that's why in the trailer, though, I think they're letting him slip out a little bit. Yeah. But I'm like, well, no, that's not how it works because okay. that's not how his voice yeah. is. At least in the third one, I'm pretty sure in the second one because the the actual voice actor that did it, like his yeah, Geralt's voice, he's got the growl part, but mm-hmm. it's just little in that diction is a little too. Yeah. Englishman, but still, that's minor yeah. compared to it. It looks good. They had the bath scene where he's like, mm-hmm. "When you're in there," which is really funny. They show Novigrad. They show the sewers of Novigrad. Um, pretty sure it was Novigrad. Um, they didn't say they didn't have Kara Morin. They showed some monsters, which was cool. Yennefer was in yeah, there. I know. I didn't know he was a monster killer. Like, I had no so, idea what the game was about. Witchers are monster hunters, okay. but they've, but they're also viewed as negative. They're yeah. they're. People they're don't really like themselves. them yeah. because they do everything for money. Like so, he's they, like they Deadpool won't cool kind of guy. He's an anti. He's like he's just like even even more. So if there's werewolves at your door, a witcher typically won't help you unless you pay him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Where it's like they're well, like why mer- can't they're mercenaries. Just, they're, yeah, they're, they're paid hired guns. Okay, yeah. that is all they are. Geralt's a little bit different. At least they've shown it in the game. Um, but each each person has so witchers are a different school. Like the wolf. There's the bear. There's this. Maybe. Anyways, there's different factions too that all have different abilities. Is, they showed his Ard a ability. Mm-hmm. Um, so Ard is one of his. Uh, there's Ard. There's. It's basically like a, f- a force thing there's, kind of okay. thing. So yeah, so it's it's a full wave that comes from his hand. Igni is a fire. Like it actually shoots fire spray. Ah, Igni, ignite, clever. Yeah. yeah. Does he need the potions for this, or does he actually have this? The potions are also are different. They're for actual protection from other beings um then he's got different things that he uses for his weapons that he can like put oil so there's different yeah. oils that 
we can borderline bring. sorcerer alchemist kind of okay. thing. Yeah, it's a it's a whole range. It's very cool. Mm-hmm. I think if you uh, played the third one, like you'd be very impressed. Actually, there's a there's a YouTube clip I came across that kind of like says like things you like things to understand about The Witcher before you watch the show, and it's got a Definitely. quick like it gives you a little bit about like all the characters like you talked about the monsters, the, a little bit of the lore and everything. It'd be a good read. I'll I'll link it to you. But and uh, like the monsters in that world are gorgeously hideous. Like they're yeah. scary as fuck, man. There's times where like. I'm in a cave, it's dark, and there's a giant mm-hmm. fucking spider. And there's 80 of them, and they're all fighting you. And like it's and very impressed with the fighting style. Yeah. His fighting style in that trailer he holds looks true. very similar to the game. He might actually is he like a nerd of the game? Like he not a nerd, but he well, loved he, he the might game. World of Warcraft. I remember like he missed the call for speed playing Superman. Yeah. He's playing World of Warcraft. That's what I remember him doing. That's funny. Okay, so he's he's like he's into under. those games. Yeah, I know yeah. That. So I I think he he loved the game so much. He's like, I know I want to be a part of this. Well, how much did he, get? Did he take a pay cut to be this character? Possibly, that'd be because he's like a. I would say he's like a higher list yeah. actor. Like he's kind of like people yeah, like he's him. up there. Yeah. yeah, but I mean Jonah Hill took pretty much got paid nothing for Wolf of Wall Street. He just, just wanted for to be the a part opportunity, of it, yeah. right? Now he's asking for all the money in the world to do. Now I remember when we Henry Cavill first got kind of cast or was talking about. It, you're like, ah, oh, he's too young. I was because, not into it because the, the Witcher three you played Gerald Geralt is older, and I think this might be pre Butcher of Blood. I believe again. so. This was a prequel, or it, like it's just the start. The it's just the start think, of his saga it? kind it's, of thing. Yeah. So he hasn't met Siri yet. So Cirilla is uh, very important to the lore. Yennefer seems like they haven't started Yennefer. their thing. Yeah. Jennifer of Vengeberg. They haven't started their relationship, so it looks yeah. like the earlier on. Yeah. Which now is fine. I'm mm-hmm. fine with the fact that she looks so young. Yeah. Whereas, like, Yennefer is mm-hmm. stunning. That's from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, right? There's someone called Yennefer or something, or like... No, you're thinking about the Swedes that came to yeah. help them. Yes. That's Johan, who it was. Johan. Or, no, I, no, I Johan, whatever remember. his name was. Um, And then, what else was there? Oh, and he, this may be the... The prequel before he is known as the Butcher of Blaviken. Okay. So, Geralt of Rivia is also called the Butcher of Blaviken, and because he was hired to take down some monsters in it in Blaviken, mm-hmm. and then they ended up tricking him, and oh, he ended okay. up slaughtering like butchering the whole town. So it's like a red wedding thing, kind of. But the See, thing it is, almost like, looks... they they tried to like to, to get him killed. Don't you think the trailer kind of looks like that? They showed a little bit of him attacking humans, not just well. Monsters? And there are humans that he does attack, like okay. other bad people. Like For it's, sure. he's not he's not a bitch, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's not just monsters. Yeah. If there's other factions that are attacking him, he'll take him to town. Okay. And so I, there's so many different elements that are here. Mm-hmm. And what's cool about The Witcher Three is that there's so much lore that they show you from the previous stuff. Yeah. Like there's thousands of books, like the developers created books in there mm-hmm. with pages and pages oh, of history. Yeah. yeah. So I, I spent actually a lot of time yeah. reading them because it's fascinating. They had Triss in there. Triss is another kind of love interest of Geralt, but she's mm-hmm. another, uh, she's a, a sorceress. Mm-hmm. She's very powerful. And her and Yennefer, Yennefer is way yeah. more powerful. Like Yennefer is OP. Big yeah. But anyways, super excited for it. Do you guys like it? I just thought, nah, for, I thought both, the was awesome. for both trailers, I noticed like they had a really good cinematography, like just oh, really nice yeah. shots, so great. like oh, yeah. for Mandalorian, just like the like desert shots, and even like a couple in, like oh, the Witcher yeah. were just like yeah. super nice and just clean. Yeah. I'm I'm excited for the Mandalorian because it looks like there's gonna be sections of him going out and doing bounties that will end up leading to one linear mm-hmm. story, but he's gonna be going on a bunch of adventures. Yeah, like, and yeah, the cinematography looked outstanding yeah. but i think that's a standard now man mm-hmm. yeah. especially with the budgets nice. yeah so I'm, well disney plus is shows are fucking like i know marvel is yeah. like 25 million like max for like most of their no, like, shows most oh the shows yeah because depending on the episode it like, like it's between 12 to 25 million some of them are going to be in the hundreds mm-hmm. like well, low-key total, i think like for per episode is 25 oh, per, million yes, sorry you're right yeah yeah that's fucking crazy mm-hmm. yeah. um, and they started filming falcon and winter soldier and yes. then Wanda Vision is next to get filmed. Wanda Vision, nice. I'm, I had to make sure I got the name right. So to play on even more of The Witcher for like the future, how they're gonna build this. I wonder if they'll keep Cavill to progress and and they'll age him and stuff like that, or if they'll do kind of what um what the I watched The Crown. I re, it was very mm-hmm. well done actually, and so each season they. Uh, the first two seasons, they had the original young actors. Now they've jumped the years and they've recast. So I mm. wonder if The Witcher is going to look at doing something like that. So I don't know the time difference. In, yeah, well, all, I, he, all yeah. he needs to do is grow, grow a beard, really. The eyes, and, actually, well, the I, eyes I don't are know very his age. accurate. In the so, so the Witchers, I imagine, don't 
age is the same as humans. Like no, they, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. So they also might, can't have kids, and they yeah, like, yeah and that's fine. Kid. So you know, Cavill's good for the starting point. The yeah. young Gerald, and he might what might be in his like is he, like, he doesn't next, start yeah, he doesn't the show. age that much, so he can go on for a long oh, okay. time. Okay, I thought it was like an aging thing because I remember that was one of the comments you first made is the fact that he looks too young to play him. That's because I'm thinking Witcher Three brain where he's a little bit older. for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where now so it's like not which the is progression cool. further how they're gonna go. They might just age everybody. Well, and they could fill in the blanks of where it is. Do you want to play this? I think I have it. Oh, I okay. Have it. I, like my roommate has it. I just haven't touched it. I've honestly haven't played a game since God of War four, and I still haven't finished. The Modern still, Warfare was the first one I played in a while. I'm still playing Red go. Dead Online. All, all the great games are coming now, and I'm like, damn it. And oh. a part of me wants to get the like the Plus Now or like uh, oh, yeah. the Xbox has the Game Pass. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's cheaper on PC, but my PC is very outdated mm-hmm. right now, so I can't play any of the games at a, at a good quality. Yeah. I have to downgrade it, like, even for. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey I still have to down the, the graphics for it so it's like I gotta dump a whole bunch of money into my PC unit to make it happen you can play Red Dead it's coming out on PC soon Yeah, that's me fucking glitchy as fuck as soon as it comes out Pro- like GTA, I'm, yeah. I'm surprised with the ser- I'm curious to see what the servers are gonna be like yeah. but I've actually almost gotten to at level 45 that's the highest rating I've gotten online I think since I don't know when but yeah, yeah I've been grinding away My I'm almost at max for trader and collector Mm-hmm. So will Witcher be the next Game of Thrones? I don't know, man. It's got potential. I, I think with I, any like I said, I, I like the Witcher better. Like I like the Witcher three alone is better mm-hmm. than the entirety of Game of Thrones TV show because I haven't read the books. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I think it's the next good step for like <clears throat> game turned to TV mm-hmm. or yeah. I, I understand it was a book first, but like we the the recent stuff for most it's people is popular the game. because of the game. Yeah, I would and say I, so. And I think video games are serviced better. In TV form than in movie form. I would watch yeah. an Uncharted TV show. Absolutely. One hundred percent I would. I think it would work both ways, but I feel like a TV show would be better just because you kinda yeah. have more like shit. Assassin's to do. Creed would have been a better TV show. I think the hard thing with Uncharted is that the the, the fun part is not just the exploration. But you have to play it. But the way no, but the way that the fights happen. So you need to find a way to shoot the fight so they feel like they are in the game. So it progresses um, as the show goes. Yeah. So goes. it'd be it, you'd have to contain an entire fight in one episode. Or make sure that you film mm-hmm. like all of them in a row and just release them separately, so that it feels like cohesive. Because mm-hmm. that's like because each in in Uncharted there's different chapters, so you'd almost have to make like an hour long episode mm-hmm. to encompass just one chapter before you mm-hmm. move to the next one, and and it's mm-hmm. a different tone, feel, area, all that yeah. stuff. But yeah. yeah, Assassin's Creed I think would be fun. I remember one show you mentioned that I really liked. Legend of Zelda, but like mature style, where like he's fucking killing monsters, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. not oh, like yeah. kid down, but like yeah. live action Legend of Zelda. That'd be, would be like the that'd best be an interesting one with product. Ocarina because he's a kid for most of it. So just this dude, if yeah, they yeah. if they redid Ocarina of Time that'd be for a TV show, <laughs> I would. But Nintendo I, I, will I never do the whole fucking it. thing. No, they won't. They're too. Yeah, but it's watching same... maybe they're doing movies. They're letting Mario have another movie, so they're being really? open. Yeah, animated movie. But it's an animated, oh, okay, so it'll animated. be good. Oh, I think but they're like good. they're like they're being more flexible yeah. with their shit now. But like they're still yeah. on. I feel everything. God of War would be a very difficult movie to pull off. Oh, dude. or TV series even. It, it would and it wouldn't. When I saw them go to, um, uh, the fuck was that place where the Soul Stone is? Vormir. Vormir. Vormir had a very God of War feel to it mm-hmm. because of like the giant pillars and all the fucking yeah. movement and all of that shit. I don't think they'd have a problem with the or or with even the, Infinity War. Sorry, yeah. when he went to Nevedalir, that whole sequence of yeah. Thor doing that—that that is God of War to a T. Him using incredible strength to yeah. move the biggest things in the fucking world yeah. to make it happen—that mm-hmm. is as God of War as you can get. Yeah. You know, so I think I think they could do it. I think it'd be pretty fun, yeah. but it'd be hard to cast him. That's what I'm saying. I really this isn't a video game movie, but like I really hope they adapt the Arkham Asylum slash city like storylines into a Batman movie. Ooh. That could be what the bat like the Batman They're t- coming up is like well, Ben Affleck was night. originally supposed to be. They said like an Arkham Asylum movie where yeah. he just goes in there and like beats the fuck out of everybody. But then well, this is a different one. So this one's going to be based off the Long Night from I think we. I think that's what people are saying. But that's pretty damn close to the Arkham stories. Like, yeah. let's like I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, I guess we can talk about it more next week when I have. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is a lot of information, but I haven't bothered to look at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the guys that did Game of Thrones straight oh, up yes. said they were not prepared to do the first one. They had hours of footage that they hadn't shot yet. They didn't know anything about the characters. They're not sure why George R. R. Martin 
gave them creative control over something like his life's work. Yeah. They didn't know what to do. They said it was an expensive school of learning, which just leads us to say that they were only as like, and he's accredited the actors and actresses. Yeah. Pretty much across the board, these guys shouldn't have done Game of Thrones. However, everyone loved the first bunch of seasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they may not like they they may have lucked out in the sense that at least the actors knew how the characters were. Yeah. yeah. And they allowed them to expand on the characters. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are shitting on them, like, how dare you like take on this or whatever? It's like they already did it. Yeah, I was like years ago, man. And, and, and not only that, you all fucking loved it until this season. All this last season proved was, yes, they were rushing to Star Wars, but they're not getting it anymore. Well, not getting it. They're, or, sorry, they backed they're, out. They backed out. But you know what's sorry. the hypest thing about that? That's what we pointed out. They said no to Disney for a Netflix show. That's true. Yeah. And well, that's and, a fucking power move. Holy shit. Like, they said no to Disney. And I'll tell you why. Because Disney's going to have more control over everything mm-hmm. while these guys are going to go to Netflix. And Netflix will be like, hey, so what are they bag. doing on Netflix? Do they know that they're doing something? It's literally just a create your content kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine it has to be original. It could be whatever. As so. long as it's good and they're willing to put the money yeah. behind it. So they just yeah. sign them pretty much. Yeah. But, oh, but like, these guys, like, I don't know. While everyone's shitting on them, I'm also being like, well, credit to them and obviously the actors and the other people around them for making it happen. Because, yeah. again, everyone was talking about it being the best show ever mm-hmm. yeah. on an epic scale. Up until the last season. Up until the last season. Yeah. Which and always happens. For sure. Yeah, a lot of it fails. But, like, that's where it really showed that these guys were unprepared. Not earlier on in the seasons. Yeah. Well, they didn't have that. And they said they had no experience whatsoever. They yeah. had no idea why they were doing it. It's like, well, then why were you? And they said the one guy was super upset watching, um, getting fan critic or fan advice, even though they cast Jason Momoa because, like, it was like a fan casting mm. yeah. for Cal Drogo. And then the other guy didn't look at fan responses at all. Mm. Um, but That's fair, though. Yeah, but they had the books the whole time, and everyone said it for years. You guys had, they had the books, that's why they did so good. Yeah. When they don't have the books, they fuck the whole thing up. Yeah. But it pisses me off even more because it's like, all right, well, you guys actually did good with the source material. Yeah. You strayed away and let the actors do it. How come you couldn't just run with that? And I've said it for a while. You yeah. guys have already gone this far with what you've created. Yeah. It really shows how shitty they are, though, because they weren't able to close on something they've mm-hmm. taken and ran themselves. If they were so uncertain, they definitely should have consulted George R. and said, had him more on the helm. It's like, hey, what do we do for this? What do we do for that? I think so, hey? I think so. Because, again, that, like, the source material was their their uh, crutch at the end of the day. Well, there was the book. That's what everyone wanted, though, because everyone complained about how so many characters were yeah. different from the book. Well, and, and, okay, at that part, for us, who's not read the books, don't care as much. Mm-hmm. Um. We just wanted a solid show. Last two seasons, kind of thing. Well, we just want a show, solid show, 100%. and then last two se- last yeah. season, of course, yeah, yeah. And I mean, seven's kind of splitting down the middle for a lot of people. It's like yes, no, kind of thing. There's yeah. parts, but eight, yeah, uh, like a lot of people. Again, I was never on the hate train, but I understand where everyone's coming from, and it's still out there now that like, oh, all you guys rushed this whole thing for nothing because you backed out of your deal. Yeah, that was another thing. Like they could have just kept going and making a bunch of money and stuff. Yeah. And but for George R. R. Martin, is he like I don't know him. Like I don't know him about him, but he seems yeah. like a very secluded guy. For sure, he's a I recluse. Like yeah, they could have asked for his help, but he also could have said like, because I heard he just gave loose notes and said follow this. The, and that was yeah. like, okay. The last couple seasons, mm-hmm. yes, wow. but it's also R. Martin's fault for not fucking like fucking write your book. You're doing nothing. Right? Well, the how fucking long book. did it take to write? Well, it? He's working other stuff. I, what? What is he known for other than Game of Thrones? No, he's he's you know, he was trying to develop. Uh, what the heck, he was on another show or another book or something like that. He yeah, was involved you know, with that kind of stuff. Yeah, the whole world doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, either way, I'm just saying this is what he was doing. He he was it's like, like he hit a wall over there. Okay, I'm gonna go focus on this for a bit, and then I'll come back. But uh, he's apparently still gonna finish Winds of Winter before he moves on to the next uh, TV series. He probably should. Yeah. I think these guys are gonna have a tough time finding work. After, I don't know. After these, because they even said that like they didn't care for the magic stuff, and yeah. that the one guy said I wanted this to appeal to like house moms and all sorts of people, like not just a specific type of fan. Like he actually mentioned yeah. a specific type of fan for the prequel series you're talking about. For the fucking show, they're not doing anything with the prequels. They yeah. said that they wanted the show to appeal to a broader audience. Which show? And though? Game of Thrones. What oh. the fuck are we talking about? Okay, just which one though? Okay, Game of Thrones. Okay, they they didn't want to lean into the magic stuff because even though they showed it in there because he wanted to appeal to 
all walks of life and he didn't want it to be specific to a type of fan that's what he said so like obviously people that are a fan of the fucking books right yeah anyways i think it's it's really funny that this is coming out now um i don't know if these guys are going to have a a, t- uh, a good time easy time finding work going forward based on these comments but the fact that they were able to pull off the earlier seasons that everybody adored because I didn't get on until season five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe no season, season five or six, one of the two. I think I was five. Yeah. You were from the beginning, weren't you? Yep. Yeah. So the fact that they were able to pull it off with zero experience is just so perplexing because it's like, how did you guys drop the ball when you've already had six, seven years of experience? That's a lot more pressure than like a startup pilot for a show. No, but they, they already gone through their training quote unquote for four seasons when it was good and they had the source material it seems like without literally the 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 the, the training wheels were taken off and they fell over on their bike mm-hmm. yeah it's like you're supposed to get better which is where my thing is like you guys are fucking idiots mm-hmm. yeah uh what i else think you got? missed a big part of news that i as a dc fan very happy what because they're doing a green lantern on hbo and Strange Adventures. The fuck and, is Strange Adventures? I don't know. It's Adam Strange, I think. Then why did you say as a DC fan, this is big news? Oh, because no. Th- well, Green Lantern show on HBO is big news. Sure, go ahead. Also, they're bringing every single DC movie onto HBO Max. Oh, okay. And they're doing DC movies for HBO Max. And That's people, like, I don't know who's doing it. Somebody, like a company or whatever, like HBO or uh, like, someone like that is hinting a Nightwing movie. Oh, sweet. on Twitter, like dropping gifts of like Nightwing and shit like that. Cause we have like one more thing to announce. Like, what is it? And just a Nightwing gift and like keeps deleting it, like commenting it again, just shit like that, taking it down. That's really so sweet. they're going to have a bunch of DC shows and uh, HBO or DC universe is what it's called. Their streaming service. Yeah. And people are like, okay, well, why the fuck do we buy this then? And they're like, don't worry. Like we're collaborating. It's not going to be like a competitive thing. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. DC could be on the rise up for TV. Interesting. Which is what will. they fucking need. But they've always had good TV content. But still, like, they got the, like, the more CW recognized. stuff, but I think they, they go wild with that shit. You're wanting them to be the forefront. You're wanting them to I just want Marvel. them to have respect, man. Everybody disrespects DC for four no, years no, of no. bad movies. They dis- okay, sorry. They disrespect the movies. Mm-hmm. They're not disrespecting no, DC. They do, though, because they discredit because the of, whole company. Because of the movies. But they do. People do this. But then there's people, there's a bunch of other people that defend them because of the comics, mm-hmm. because of their video games, because of the TV the show. trilogy. That's so, my go-to I mean, every single time. The Dark Knight trilogy I pull out of my ass. Yeah, if only wow. the Dark Knight Rises was any better. I think it is. Of course you do. All right, that's it. What is it? Hour 26. Let's close this shit out. It's the first time we had three people. Wow. Well, in a while. Three weeks. Yeah, I was, I've had so many plans for Halloween month, and then... And then? And then I just didn't come. And then... And then. That was it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Um, that's it. That's our show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Whoever listened, uh, if you do or feel inclined to or feeling you know generous, we'd love you to head over to Apple Podcasts or anywhere else and uh, drop us a review. Uh, maybe even just a, a star review is cool with us. If you want to drop an actual comment on everything, that would be sweet too. Arturo, I'm still working on those shoes on those shirts. I nailed down the font okay so they're coming don't worry maybe i'll get it hey we'll, you'll be in time for for the holidays um anyways uh yes so if you want to if you want to like us drop a review i think apple podcast is still the better one but who knows i think they shut down everything so who the fuck knows um we're very much appreciated you can email us your reviews of things that you've seen and feel like you just want to get out there and we'll read it on the show at the effort podcast at gmail.com make sure you know it's a spoiler non-spoiler reviews yes um and again music video games tv all that stuff porn not porn okay i'm not there yet not yet okay. uh you can find me on twitter at the f words g you can email i already said the email you on instagram at the f word podcast and you can follow the lazy canadian for memes um and from wherever you're listening to thank you so much for listening to the best podcast you'll never know the f word i am g it's your boy the meme machine and it's vast and we're out.